write a C program to segregate zeros and ones to left and right of the array using counting method that is zeros to the left of the array and ones to the right of the array. For example, if this is the input array with all zeros and ones, this is the output that is all the zeros from the input should be arranged to the left of the array and all the ones should be arranged to the right of the array using counting method. We can also use swapping method that we will see in the upcoming video. For this we need to do this using counting method that is in the input array we shall count the number of zeros present. A of 0 is 0, A of 1 is 0, A of 3 is 0 and then A of 5 is 0 and then at last A of 8 is 0. Okay. So look at this output array. It also has 5 zeros. So this should match. Okay. So what's the number of ones present in this input array? That is phi 2 because the array size minus the number of zeros would give the number of ones present in this input array. And that should match in the output array too. Remember we need to arrange these ones and zeros in the same array. Need not take another array to that to accomplish this. Okay. So here n is 10. So the array size is 10, 0 to 9. The index starts from 0 and the last index is n minus 1. Okay. So let's have a variable count and let me initialize it to 0. So let us loop through or iterate through this input array one by one. So let's take a for loop for this. So I'll initialize i to the first index which is 0. Iterate this for loop until i is less than n which is last index of the array for each iteration increment the value of i by 1. So inside this for loop let's check for a condition that is the for loop selected element the elements vary from 0 to n minus 1 okay. So if the selected element which is present inside a of i holds value 0 that means a of i double equals 0. Okay you could even check for 1 I'll, I'll go with 0 now. Any one condition, okay? 0 or 1. If you know the count of any one of these things, we could calculate the other one, okay? So now, inside this if condition, increment the value of count by 1 for each occurrence of 0. So once this for loop iteration is completed, this count will have the number of zeros present inside this input array. So the next step. Now let's rearrange the array, that is A of n itself. So iterate through this. So initialize i to 0, iterate this for loop until i is less than n. For each iteration increment the value of i by 1. So if the index i is less than the count that is the number of zeros present in the input array. So which is 5 in this case that is 0 to 4, 5 elements. So fill all these, all the elements from 0 to 4 from index 0 to 4 with zeros else if i is greater than count fill all the elements by 1. That's because we already know that there are 5 zeros and the rest of it should be 1 right. So that's why we write this logic. So observe here once again for the index which is less than the number of zeros if i is less than count fill all the elements with zeros else which is if index is greater than the count fill all those spots with ones. That's it. This is the first step. This is the second step. And let me write the final step which is displaying the resultant array which is very straightforward. Write the same for loop. Initialize i to 0 and iterate this for loop until i is less than n. Less than n means n minus 1. So print printf percentage d I'll take slash t tab character that is three space character and print whatever is present inside a of i that should be the sorted array with zeros to the left and ones to the right. So with that logic in place let's write our C program. So let me declare an array variable a of n of type integer so we manage the size of array using macros. So let me show that to you. Int a of 
n n is size of the array i for for loop and count to keep track of the number of zeros in the input array so i'll ask the user to enter percentage d integer numbers the value of which is present inside macro n let me declare that or define that so hash define n is macro template 10 is macro expansion so let me write the for loop initialize i to 0 iterate this for loop until i is less than n for each iteration increment the value of i by 1 so for each iteration ask the user to input a integer number and store it inside address of e of i now let me iterate through this user input array one element at a time and for each selected element which is present inside e of i i'll check if the element is actually zero so if the selected element is zero i'll increment the value of count by one so at the end of this for loop we have inside the variable count we have the number of zeros present in the user input array okay so now let me iterate through this array once again and then modify it if the index is less than the count that is the number of zeros then fill all these elements with zeros else if index is greater than the count fill it with one that's it now let me display the modified array so array after segregating segregating zeros to left and ones to right so now again the regular for loop initialize i to zero iterate until i is less than n for each iteration increment the value of i by one so percentage d slash t the value is present inside a of i let me have a new line character at the end so that the output looks cleaner so i guess that's it let me compile and run this program and check if it works so i'll give one zero zero one 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 zero 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 and one so we have one two three four and five zeros and of course ten minus five is five there should be five ones so instead of taking these many for loop we could eliminate one for loop here so let me have brackets here because we will have multiple lines of code inside this for loop so now let me cut these two lines of code and paste it inside the first for loop itself. That is, as and when user inputs an integer number, we check if user has input zero. If it's zero, we increment the value of count. That's it. So we have one, two, three, four, four ones. That means we have six zeros and it has been segregated to left zeros has been segregated to left now what if user enters something other than one and zero in this case we are only counting the number of zeros right and we are pushing it to the left of the array and and remaining elements are considered as ones which are placed to the right so let me even check if user has entered anything other than zero and one so if the user entered element is not equal to zero as well as if user entered number is not equal to one in that case i'll output a message to the user that is please enter zero and one as input and then uh, technically let me decrement the value of i by one and give give one more chance to the user to input right a right element that is zero or one in that index so else if if user has entered the right element that is zero or one i'll check if it's zero or one if it's zero i'll increment the value of count by one so let me check this if i enter anything other than zero and one it will give me one more chance to re-enter the correct value i need not start from beginning one and one so we have one two three four and five zeros and of course five ones 
So that's it. So, so this is how we segregate zeros to the left of the array and ones to the right of the array using counting technique. So in, in next video, we will see how to do the same using swapping technique. So you can find the link to that video in the description section of this YouTube video. There is a link to our website. Go there and you can find that video. Okay. Hope this is helpful for you. Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.